Well, right next, we're back here at uh, Shop Peon, and we're going to be uh, getting those headlights done. And while this thing's uh, drying off, because it's snowing quite a bit outside, on the way here it got pretty wet, me and Tyler got bored, and we checked the amp draw on my headlights versus the amp draw on his headlights. And the LEDs run about 1.8, and the uh, standard ones on his car run, I think it was like 3.8. So it's almost double the amp draw on the uh, standard headlights versus the LEDs. So what do you say we start pulling this thing apart? We'll get that cover off, and I'll uh, start getting ready to wire this thing up, and I'll show you what I got uh, in mind. All right, right next with the uh, whole front of the car pulled apart, I got lucky and found out that the harness I need to tap into for my uh, relay, blah, blah, blah. You know what? This is what happens when you assume things. You make diagrams and, oh, I wonder what that does. I wonder what that does. Oh, look at me. You know, let's solder this all together. You know, I was under the assumption I knew what the lights did, and that's the problem. I didn't know what they did. I didn't look at a wiring diagram, and I ended up spending tons of time making my own diagram, assuming things that weren't true. And this is the result, a bunch of work that uh, means nothing. Look at me, I'm soldering all this stuff, got the uh, relays all figured out, I think I got life all figured out. And uh, it's gonna be a big smack to my face when I get done with all this, because guess what? It didn't work, so. Yeah, a lesson learned, get a wiring schematic, make sure you do things right the first time, and uh, you won't be wasting your life like this, so. Let's get back to the build. All right, Rednecks, it's been about probably two hours of us screwing around with this, and I done messed up. Um, this car doesn't do exactly what I wanted it or what I thought it did. The uh, 194 bulb on the side has uh, dual po powers. It uses the power from the uh, running lights. It uses the power from the turn signals to make that blank. The, uh, the turn light at the bottom corner doesn't come on how I expected it to. The turn signals don't work how I expected them to. So all of this was an absolute waste of time. And after diagram and diagram and people coming down here and looking at it, I'm gonna take the 194 wiring here, splice it into the halo eyes and call it a day. I'm gonna have to have my headlights on or my uh, running lights on for these to work. And I'm completely fine with that after this. I am just fed up with it. So uh, yeah, let's get these wired in. Hopefully these will work. And then I gotta fix the mess I got over there. Get all that back to normal and then wire those in. So yeah, ouch. Well, there we go, Rednecks. I ended up wiring in the 194 into the halo eyes, and now everything should work. The only uh, thing I don't like about this is these turn signals will not work unless the headlights or running lights are on, but I guess I'm gonna have to sacrifice that because I don't see any other easy way of doing this, and uh, I'm kind of fed up with it. So let's make sure this side works, and like I said, I'm gonna have to clear up that side. Next, that was a lot of screwing around for just turn signals, but got the halo eyes wired in, got all the turn signals wired in, got the headlights wired in, got all the interior lights done, and uh, I'm happy to say this is done with. I got to put it all back together, but I'm going to end the video right here. It's getting pretty late. 
So um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and get back to work. Man oh man, Rednecks, that was one heck of a drive home. I gotta admit, headlights are beautiful, man. Them things are nice and bright, but man, them roads were iced right over. Uh, I probably had an average speed of 15 to 20 mile an hour, and at one point I kind of leaned into the throttle a little bit, and it got a little sketchy. It probably, I, I probably had wheel tire speed on one tire at about probably 50, 55, but anyways, I figured I'd mention, Everything used in this video as far as the uh, interior lights, exterior lights, and all that, I will have a link of everything used in the uh, description below. So thanks for watching again, and uh, have a good one. Stay warm.